Dusk's skin prickles. Even the little bit of sunlight that she caught during the day was enough to burn. She would have to be cautious. Unlike her brother, she was now of the night. And as a creature of the night, she would use it to traverse the landscape in search of knowledge, of course. And, as it would seem, that knowledge has been close by, accessible. Well, maybe not so close, but close enough that she can journey there with her brother and perhaps be back before the sunrise. But that journey will take her into unknown parts of the subway system. And as we know, it can be rather dangerous down there. And so, as ever, Dusk must keep her wits about her and Elliot must keep his hunger at bay. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, No Hope, where today we're going to be heading north up towards Epping, down into the subway station here, and we are going to be popping out in an area that we haven't actually been to yet, an area known as Lincoln. So we have this station here, which connects up to the main network that we've been using on the side of the river. And Lincoln is interesting for a few different reasons. I mean, namely, we have two libraries. The first of which is right next to the subway station, so that's super, super handy. The next is over here, not too far. However, it's right next to some fungal flowers. Yeah, don't know what to make of that in and amongst the town here. We'll see just how bad things are. We also have a bus station down this way and a bookstore on the other side of that. So I would like to try and see if we could hit all of those things, but we'll see how we go. There is also a museum down here as well, just next to a police station and an animal shelter. Oh, and that is also right next to yet another subway station. And then there's like two other subway stations here as well. They all do seem to connect up. So I suppose we could travel down this way to look at that museum too, but let's not be greedy. One thing at a time. And first of all, we need to get up to Epping. We need to get up to that subway station. And oh, right, okay. <laughs> Looks like I moved our plank. Let's make sure that we don't accidentally step onto the pit here. There we go. Elliot, close the door up behind us. And we're ready to go. We are leaving quite a bit of our stuff behind, so it means that we've got a fair amount of capacity when it comes to bringing things back with us. And we hope that things are nice and calm and epping tonight. And you know what? We don't need these sunglasses on, do we? Yeah, let's remove them. It's not actually helping our sight at all tonight because it's a half moon and we're also dealing with fog. But hey, we've got Elliot with us, so hopefully he'll see anything before we accidentally run into it. And that was a rather uneventful trip. Nothing. The city is dead. Elliot is still with us. Good. Let's get down below. Oh, there's definitely something out there. Shuffling. Okay. Onwards. Oh, and let's go and deal with our cash card again. Deposit everything and let's go and withdraw it. All those empty cards will stay behind. Excellent. And down below, we're going to be taking this route all the way over to this one here. No, not that one. It's this one. So yeah, we have not gone <laughs> that far before. Don't know what to expect. But we'll be ready for anything. And, well, Elliot, it sounds like something is fighting here. And ah, a zombie snapper. Okay, well, let's just uh, leave that alone for now, eh? And navigate through all this sludge yet again. Oh, we've got a few small meat cocoons here. Let's go and attack these here, giving a roundhouse kick that does no damage. <laughs> but we do manage to um, gouge it with our horns. That, uh, that seems to do a lot more. Oh, and that's just a jumping spider. Okay. Let's, uh, do a little... Well, I was gonna say static touch. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we just let Elliot, uh, slash at it. There we go. It's jumping away. Oh, and he has seen a sludge crawler around to the north. I think I can hear them attacking something off towards the right. Let's just, uh, give it a load of space. Elliot, let's keep on going. Ah, and a jumping spider. Well... Let's throw that into the darkness and continue. Most of the time, they will get scared off if we if we have an aggressive action like that. Another meat cocoon, eh? Ooh, and what do we have there? A spider sample. We'll keep a hold of that. And a hunting horror. Wonderful. Elliot, catch on up. It is close to us, and there's two of them. And that's a colossal slug. Okay. 
Okay, well, hopefully we can kind of lure them into attacking each other. Elliot seems to be staying far enough away from them right now. That's good. Let's continue on up the uh, northern way. And now is where we run into many, many small dinosaurs. They're just outside of our view at the moment. But believe me when I say there are many of them here. All right, and we've reached the corner here, and we can see the furthest that we've been so far. It's that station just over towards the east. Once we hit that, we are in completely unknown territory. Actually, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we can we can get through there. All right, um, I'm just going to throw you away, and yeah, we'll slip through there. Okay, um, thought it might have been cut off for a second and that we used a different route, but no, we must have gone through that little gap before. Oh, and that's a sludge crawler. Okay, okay, down here we go, and let's try and get through all that sludge. Hey, Elliot. Yeah, good, he's still with us. Oh, and we can see a zapper there. Yeah, and that's the last station that we've been to. We're next going to be going on this long stretch out east, down to that station, and then further still, until we reach this station right here. It's going to be a heck of a journey, and hopefully it's not very eventful. We're hearing lots of clanging going on behind us. I'm not sure if we're being followed by something, but... Oh, another zapper? Quite a bit further away. Okay, well, we'll be going without safe mode on for now, so I'm going to have to go a little slower. We'll pass by it now. Ooh, what's the body? A rotten zombie corpse. Hmm. We're hearing shrieking in the dark. Now we're far enough away from the zapper that we can have safe mode back on, so I feel safer traveling faster. Oh, and that's a lot of ear raptors. A load of them. Okay, well, we'll just uh, go around this way for now. They shouldn't really cause us any trouble just in general, but uh, you never know. Sometimes if there's groups of things, they can get a interesting idea. Sorry, from the south and above, you hear an explosion. Did we just have a crater drop on us here somewhere? A crater, I mean like a meteor. That or something else just blew up above us to the north. Interesting. Huh. Okay. There's a lot of blood down here. A large amount of it and seemingly a lot of fighting going on up ahead. Feral troglobites. Okay. And giant spiders. Okay. Okay. Let's go around here. Let's not get poisoned. Elliot, just uh, push it away. Slash it. At, scare it. It'll leave us alone eventually. Or not. Okay. All right. He's doing a good job. Nicely done, Elliot. Ah, uh, and another cellar spider. Away with you. Get out of here. Elias, let's go. There's, there's, there's quite a lot of them here. <laughs> All right, we'll let him do some slashing. He got grabbed briefly. Let's send that one away, and we'll do the same thing for this one here. Good work. That's both of them scared now. I don't want to know what they're fighting. Uh, we'll try and go around them for now. We have noticed something here. Scientists. Okay. They could be Migos with those bodies, so we'll be cautious as we start to get a little bit closer. Elliot, nicely done. We're hearing some noise over here by the station. But hey, we've got no need to go up right now, so let's just keep on. We're coming up on those scientists' bodies now. Oh, and that's a zombie hunter. Okay, let's just back on up, get a little bit of extra support here, and take a few strikes. <laughs> oh, nice, excellent. The roundhouse kick didn't really do much. We're gonna give Taekwondo a good go, but um, we may end up just going back to brawling, for all I know. Oh, that was a scientist wearing a lab coat, huh? Yeah, so they've been uh, reviving, it seems. Oh, hello, where did you come from? All right, let's um, take you down. <laughs> let's just turn on our light here as well to get an idea of what we've got. We've got a mold, okay, and over here, what do we have? A spider, right. Just trying to see if there are any of the other uh, corpses around. We do have a crack that seems to be interested in us. It's making its way on over towards us, and Elliot quickly sends that back to somewhere else. We've got some scraps of flesh. Nothing that I would expect to find on scientists' bodies here, though. Yeah, all right. Let's turn that light off again. Back into the darkness. And now we start that long trek south. And there's so much going on down here that I'm going to turn our light on just so we can see. Dinosaurs versus spiders. Okay, right, light off, and I think they're heading a little bit more to the east, so we'll try and just go straight down the middle here. And we're good. We're safe. Elliot? Yeah, he's safe too. All right. How about we send that thing packing, huh? Yeah, good on you. Ooh, hello. Arthropod mutant. A horribly mutated experimental subject. 
the original body still wearing an orange jumpsuit. Yeah, this is some kind of horrific spider-like creature that looks just like Dusk and Elliot. We're going to go back up in the direction of Elliot and we're going to see what we can do to this mutant. Wow, okay, it's going to attack us from a decent distance there. The stinger doing some serious damage to us. Elliot is moving in. We're going to see if we can take it out. Okay, we've been grabbed, so we are going to send that reeling backwards. We're going to take a second, deal with any poison, or rather bleeding. Elliot is currently losing some blood, so this thing seems to be pretty good at getting us bleeding. Let's go and give it a mind hammer as we hit it right in the abdomen. That's got it staggered. And then, wow, it can attack us from here. Let's use far hand, bring it in towards us. And then we are going to use the static touch. It's crackling around that mutant now. Okay, decent work. The roundhouse kicks aren't doing any damage. So we're gonna swap back to brawling. And we're gonna see how that goes because our claws should be able to do a little bit more to it. It looks like it's trying to turn and run right now. It is zapped. Dusk, don't stop. Elliot, unfortunately, isn't in this fight right now. This thing will continue hunting us otherwise. It's fleeing. Fine, let it flee into the dark. We're putting pressure onto the wound. We managed to get the blood under control. Let's just stay by Elliot, examine his wounds. Okay, we'll just put a little bandage on that for you. He's the bandage on the head. There you go, you'll be fine. Yep, I know it stings, I know. Oh, it's us that is saying that. Poisoned wound on the right arm and on the left leg. So it's burning like hell. We're gonna be in moderate pain, so we'll have a codeine to kind of knock that down. Or actually, you know what? We'll go for a tremidol in this case. Just get it under control now. And that mutant's gonna to get to live another day, at least for now. You know what? If we're gonna come back through here, we really should look at finishing it off. If we can find it though. That Comsog seems to be coming for us once a fight. Mutant's gone. Okay, so we carry on then. There's more cobwebs down here that no doubt it has spun over time. And okay, that is a shelled mutant there. Much slower than us. It's grabbing onto this giant woodlass. I think we're just going to leave them to it and stick to our own thing. But the fact that we're running into mutants down here leads me to believe that there might be a lab close to here. I mean, it's a possibility, right? Hmm. For now, let's stay on the path. Even more fighting happening down here. It's going to be difficult to move around it, but we will try our best. Yeah, let's just stay on this side for now. Oh, and that's a missile spider. Okay, let's go over this way now. It's not using actual missiles. Oh, and Elliot is seeing a colossal slug now. Okay, all right. If we see it, we, we've seen it. Um, if it sees us, we will send it far away from us. For now, though, we seem to be good. Oh, hello. Okay, we've got a few experimental mutants right in front of us. So let's back the hell up. Try and get on the other side of here, Elliot. Let's get rid of that spider as well. Okay, and there's some kind of slug thing there too. Okay, <laughs> lots of things going on underground today. Still, I think it's more controlled than uh, traveling above. We still got a ways to go to that next station, but that's our goal right there. Oh, and that's a zombie night stalker right next to us. Okay, safe boat off. Let's get rid of that, please. Send it off into the darkness there. Let's hope that Elliot makes it through. Well, we're not going to hope. We are going to wait and see. He's attacking something. The night stalker is back. Well then, let's do something about it then, huh? We are going to have to get into a position where it is going to come for us and shoot. So are two shadow raptors. So we don't do it very often, but right now this is the perfect time to use it. Wave of force. We send all three reeling backwards. The night stalker is right in front of us though. Let's slam it against the wall. That is enough to kill it. And let's keep on moving here. Elliot, uh, holler if some strange night creatures attack you out of the dark because we won't be able to see them unless we're right next to them. Although in saying that, yeah, let's turn on the light. That'll do it. Okay, and that does help him. And I think the light scares them away. The shadow, oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, so they're like flesh raptors, but I guess down here they turn into shadow raptors. Gnarly, gnarly things. Oh, okay, we got some oxycodone here. We will take that. And I think 
I recall seeing a runner just to the south of us, so we'll watch out for that. No, it's a feral troglobite. Okay, all right. It's already bleeding as it makes its way on over towards us. We'll demolish its remains. Okay, and then with safe mode on, we'll carry on. Okay, I think this is the station right here. And it looks like we've got a kind of damaged cart. Passenger car, yeah. It's pretty wrecked by the looks of things, and that's a shrieker. Okay, it's gonna make some noise. I'm gonna see if we can stop it before it makes too much. There we go, oh, and we've immediately got a batwing zombie that jumps down here, and we do seem to be doing more damage in general with our brawling. Yeah, because we're getting that cut damage that we're just not gonna be able to get with our feet. Oh great, and we've got a boomer here as well. The boomer, I think, is just gonna be a force shove. And that works. That certainly works. And everything else that's up there should come down towards us, including that thorny shambler. Well done, Dusk. Okay, waiting for a little bit longer. Let's just say catch our breath, see if anything pops down. It hasn't so far. And we'll just take that memory card there. There is a droning hum, uh, kind of like all around the stairs right now, which is concerning. <laughs> um, not sure what's causing that. It is probably the zombie blank here. Yeah, we can hear a very low droning hum. Yep. Okay, we feel a sense of loss. It stops us from using our freaking powers. Yeah, okay. And we regained what we lost. Okay, let's go up here. And let's get Elliot up here as well. Ideally as quickly as possible. Good work, brother. Good freaking work. It did a little bit of damage to our right arm. I think we're going to go and put a proper bandage on that now because it's starting to get quite hurt. And we'll also do a decent um, disinfection of it. There we are. Okay. Just in mild pain at the moment. That's okay. Let's see what we have tucked away in the tool room, huh? Oh, we've got an electric jackhammer. So once upon a time, that would have been very, very useful. But now, not so much. We also have some locking pliers and an adjustable wrench, which is kind of what we were looking for in the last episode. So <laughs> we've got a lot of what we need now. And there's even two electric jackhammers here. Wild. Um, very good. Very good. Uh, I suppose we should check these rooms as well, because there's always a chance that there could be something useful, like a fully charged light high capacity battery. Yes, and also tequila. I mean, Mathemax, and yet another ENT tablet. Okay, excellent. And the memory cards, and of course the tequila. Yeah, we're going to bring that with. Okay, all right, so let's have a look here. We're just going to do a peek first of all. I mean, so far so good. And the library is right next to us here. However, we also have fungal flowers, so we wanna be really cautious of that because um, we don't have much in the way of protection for our mouth. Like, Elliot can't wear anything on his mouth. Dusk can, but uh, it'll stop her from biting things. So if we need to, we will. I mean, it's better than inhaling spores, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, let's go around not on the street side for now. Keep safe mode turned on. What have we got there? Just glass shards. Okay, and right, there is something pupating around here, I would think. Let's see if we can't track it down. Well, we're in the library. That's a great start. Okay, and so there are gonna be quite a few books here that we have read. There are gonna be a few like food fashions and food fashions for young moderns. They may have recipes in them, but they aren't gonna teach us all that much. Peer-to-peer -peer bartering and trade basics, we'll be picking those up. And we're just going to work through just, you know, little by little, see what we have here. This place has been pretty roughed up by the looks of things though. Okay, there are lots of really good looking books here. It's saying that we don't have enough space. We most certainly do. You know what? I think if we just wear the backpack for now, that'll make this easier. Yeah, okay, so we've, we've already got these books. Righto. Principles of Advanced Programming in SICP. That's going to be even better computing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Next up, we've got 101 Crafts for Beginners, Birdhouse Monthly, and So What Clothing. And over here, Prop Builders Molding and Casting Handbook. 101 Crafts. And it looks like these are probably all going to be non-fiction. Rather, they're going to be fiction, is what I was trying to say. Oh, we got Dune. And uh, same kind of deal over here by the looks of things. Oh, not entirely. No, okay. Bowyer's Buddy, Bronze Age Encyclopedia, and the Art of Warfare in Pre-Columbian Mesoamerica. Yeah, <laughs> cool. And the Guide to Advanced Emergency Care. 
excellent. All really, really useful books. At least I hope so. If we just have a quick flick through them, uh, we'll be able to figure out if we are actually going to get any use from them. So we are going to go into the bathroom for now. Elliot, uh, follow along. Uh, if you'd be so kind, let's just swap positions. Uh, we're going to have to push you back that way. <laughs> All right. And we'll go and light our candles. So we're just going to have a flick through each of these. Oh, we've got two of this book. Okay, so I'm just going to go and drop this outside. Because there's no point in us scanning it if it's not actually going to be of use to us. We want them to at least have a, uh, a recipe or something like that that we can get from them. Okay, all right, so looking at everything here, unfortunately, nothing that is going to help us with mechanics, which sucks. And really, it looks like the only thing that we're going to be getting rid of here is Birdhouse Monthly. Uh, the rest of them we can use, and there's no point in us digitizing them yet. We will bring them back with us, but if we start to get low on carrying capacity, then we'll have a look at, you know, um, getting rid of them and just digitizing them. Because I think there's still something to be said about having a hard copy of a book. Same goes for real life. Okay, so our lifting field, we're going to go and put our backpack back into that. Still more than capable of carrying that all. Excellent. And we're going to mark this as explored. We will check the rest of it. Actually, no, that's kind of, that's it. There might be something interesting in here. So I think it's still worth us um, getting some strength, and knocking this down as quickly as we can. We'll stop concentrating again. And okay, it's just like a, a janitor's closet. Okay, we made some noise. Let's start to move away from there for now. We are spotting a zapper to the southeast. Let's just catch our breath back, ignore that zapper. And we're gonna try and pick our route here. So we are wanting to try and get over towards this library. If we start to see spores or anything else weird, then we are just gonna tap out. We've got other locations that we can look at around here, but we're just going to take things real nice and slow. No need for us to rush here. Let's just stay away from the zapper. Yep, and Elliot can see a screecher. Okay, something tells me that there are a few dead hanging around on the streets and a lashing zombie. Don't like it. Let's shove that off into the darkness here as, ah, oh great, the zapper has made its way down here. Okay, we're also going to send that away from us. We want to try and see if we can get over towards uh, one of the homes here, because that would be a much better place for us to be fighting. We've got an ambulance here as well. We could try and fight in that, but ideally, no. Okay, come on, Elliot. What are we seeing? We're seeing a zombie necromancer, among other things, over by a fungal blossom. Yeah, I don't like how far away that blossom has made it. That's concerning. It means that the library is probably going to be rather overgrown. Um, yeah. Oh, and Elias is already in a fight, isn't he? Yeah, he sure as hell is. What are you fighting? You're fighting a screecher. Buddy, if you could just leave it alone, that'd be great. Well, we killed it anyway. Elias, if you'd please take initiative and follow us. Let's throw that grappler away. Okay, we need to try and see if we can get into this home here. There we go. Because at least our eyesight's going to be a little bit better in here. What are we seeing? Thin smoke. Okay, so we probably have a smoker or something else like that that's been through here. we got a Rottweiler and we've got that grappler back as well. It sounds like Elliot might be fighting something uh, shady, possibly, or not. Let's see. Can you... Oh, you have been grappled. Oh, and you got him. Good job. Good job. Okay, so the zapper is starting to get a little closer to us. We've just made some smashing noises. Let's just try and use sludge because it can slow them down. All right, we're kind of just moving around everything at the moment. I think if we head on over this way, that's away from most of the sounds. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm thinking when we start to get closer to this uh, this library here, we're probably going to have to get Elliot to stay in one of the houses because I don't trust him being near fungal spores. Um, makes me very, very nervous. So let's have a look at this house here and see if we can't find uh, somewhere safe for him to hang out. Uh, maybe, in, maybe in here, what do we got? Plastic bottles. Okay, we'll try here instead. All right, we just managed to crack that open. How about you head on inside, close it behind you, good. And let's see if we can find a basement maybe. Excellent. We've found a basement, so let's see what else we can find here now. There's a shuttlecock over there, okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that in game. And that is a devourer. Well, hello. And there's also a skull zombie over here. Even cooler. So, let's go and force shove that sucker back, and it must have already been quite injured because that died very quickly. 
Skull Zombie, how about you uh, make your way on over here and we'll see if we can be friends. Let's force shove you away into that corner there. You flew a decent distance. Elliot, can you put it down? I believe in you, brother. I believe in you. Nice. That's what we like to see. Okay. Yeah, let's just get you downstairs, eh? Start to make our way down there and just be ready. Looks like we're going to be dealing with roaches. Yep, we certainly are. Okay, let's back on up. We're going to put our discharge on. Got a bit of a tingle going on here. Dusk, quick work of them. Smash them. And we've got some more. Okay, you're next. First steps encoding. I think we're probably past that point. We do have a survivor's map here for, for Lincoln. Um, we should probably use it because we are kind of towards the edge of the map now, if we have a look here. So that could give us more information about what is going on around us. So let's just wait a little bit longer. Okay, try and bait these roaches in. Ow, I don't know where that one attacked from. Well, I guess it was there, we just couldn't quite see it. Smash the remains and let's just check everything else down here. I guess they kind of can hide underneath of uh, desks and stuff. This is a nice spot, Elliot. I mean, aside from all the roach crap, even got some exercise equipment. Yeah, he's gonna be able to um, just chill out down here. You know, have a good time. So Elliot, guard this location, please. Um, let's just use our candle real quick here and let's read the, um, or rather activate the map. There we go, and we can now drop that. Let's extinguish that candle and have a look at the map. Okay, so it did add a few different locations for us. I don't know if we had the gun stores before, but we have them on there now, so that's useful. We have police stations. There's a military surplus store here as well. So yeah, it's it's given us information about a lot of different um, supply stores that seem to be around here. Looks like this is maybe a hospital. Yeah, in North Yarmouth. And it looks like this is maybe, I'd say it could be forest. It could also be a river from just how we see it kind of going around here. Although in saying that, we don't really have much in the way of bridges on the map, do we? The only one we have is down here by Westport, which makes me think that this river just kind of continues on. If it continues to the east, that would be one of the best ways for us to travel to the um, very, very distant refugee center. But I think most of it is going to have to be traveling overland just kind of around the edges of the grids that we have here. The Mega City, the spread of it is unlike anything. <laughs> and we're going to be, we're going to be dealing with that. But for now, Dusk is going to be making a move by herself. Now, do we have any form of mask with us? We do have a filter mask. It's not active at the moment. Once we start to get a little bit closer, well, I mean, let's wear it now or no, a hold off just because we can still use our fangs. Once I see that we are close enough that we might be dealing with um, spores, that's when we'll get it on. There is still a strong chance that we may get spores on our skin. We want to avoid that as much as we can. We do have medication that can help deal with that, but ideally we're just in, we're out, and that'll, that'll do it. A Zuni Ceratops nest. Okay, I would have thought that that might have maybe taken care of the fungal flowers by now, but who knows what's going on there. What is this? It's a happy van. Okay, um, anything in the happy van? No, not really. So, carrying on towards the library. Okay, and we can see a gasoline zombie. <laughs> I mean, that's a good way to deal with um, fungal things, is to set a nice big blaze. Uh, but I, ideally, we don't have that, as we are near a library right now, and unfortunately, it seems like a great deal of this library has fallen into ruin. <sighs> Come on, really? I mean, there are no pieces of books. It's been burnt down before we even got here. And that, I think, over there is a fungal clump. Okay, time for the mask. Let's get it on. And we are going to activate that now as well. Prepare it. Check our seals. Okay, there are some books that are still intact. There's a lot of them all on that one square there. And I mean, there might be others underneath the piles of rubble if we were willing to try and dig through them. And you know what? There, there are actually some books underneath all of the crap. So let's just see if there's anything that we can actually use. It looks like it's pretty much all fiction, apart from historic weaponsmithing. That's like the one. <laughs> but we've already, uh, we already have access to that. Oh man, what a mess. Um, that is very disappointing. Popular mechanics? I mean, maybe? We will grab it, certainly. And I don't really want to go any closer to the fungal stuff right now. Follow the chemtrails. Okay, 
And there's just a ledge here. Another inscription, we're all gonna die. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, that, that, that just drops straight down. Which I think that's probably a symptom of the fungal flowers that we are seeing in the area. It's all kind of grown around here. Okay, let's mark that as explored. Um, what else did we have close by? We have the bookstore that's just on the other side of these bus stations. I think we'll probably go for that. And then th there is the museum that's down here. Because it's close to this other subway station, I think that Dusk can still manage all of this on her own. I mean, she certainly can. It's easier when you have a, uh, a brother there with you. But maybe it's better it's just her right now because she is still really really silent um elliot not so much and when things do get close to us we can just send them away yeah i think that'll be the plan we're going to keep the gas mask on just for now or the filter mask rather let's see if we can quickly take this one out I mean, we can't do our um our bite while we've got it on but we're still pretty deadly a eh, dusk okay so this is the bus uh bus station here uh, I don't imagine there are any buses that are intact, as kind of nothing is. Got a bulletin board here as well, there's not going to be anything on that. There is a tough zombie inside here though, so let's just uh, leave that alone. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll just climb on over, and it looks like we are close to this abandoned storefront, and then the book station is just on- book station? The book store is just on the other side here, so that's the real goal. Okay, heading on inside, and it looks pretty barren. We have a war novel. That's it so far. So libraries do seem to still have a fair amount of stuff, but bookstores, anything that's got anything valuable is gone. Ocular zombie. This otherwise regular zombie's head is absolutely filled to the brim with eyes. Half of them frantically swiveling in their orbits. The other half are staring directly at you. Well, that's um, concerning quite concerning. Um, I think that we probably have a staircase leading up here. That's entirely possible. Um, do we have time to take off the mask here? I think we're going to. Let's go take it off for now and look at taking a bite at this thing. Wow. Um, that took a lot. That took a lot. <laughs> I guess it's super observant, so it's very good at dodging. That's what I gotta guess. But, I mean, Still dies like a zombie. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, okay, we can climb up onto the roof here. I will just check the back rooms. Okay, that's a bathroom. And over here, we have nothing. Okay, well, let's close this up. It's probably just gonna be sugar and stuff like that in here, or coffee and tea, or just nothing. Uh, <laughs> same story here. I mean, powdered milk is still kind of useful. Chocolate covered coffee beans. We'll just have that one there. And the rest of it we'll leave behind. Yeah, that's just the rooftop. Okay, so during the day, it'd be a good way for us to get sight of the area, but we're not so worried about that right now. We're going to mark that as explored. And now we're going to head down to the heart of Lincoln. We have the police station there. There's a gun store. There's a pet supply store. Now that, that is intriguing. Hmm, might be able to get a pet carrier from there. I think we do have some that are closer to us though. Oh no, they're still a decent distance away, so I guess if we were to try and get some stuff, now would probably be the time. It's not on the, the main priority list at the moment though. I gotta say, the museum is higher up on it. I'm not even worried about the, the gun store right now. Yeah, okay. Let's get back out onto the main street, have our safe mode turned on, and we'll see if we can navigate and make our way around all these footsteps that we're hearing. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, we're more than fast enough even while we're walking at the moment. Okay, zombie predator, we will be sending you away. Thank you very much. And that's a zombie blank, which got rid of our powers. Okay, so we're going to use a little bit of our stamina here to start to run. That's a predator yet again. Force shove it away. And let's just start to make our way down like so. I think we've gotten away from the worst of it now. And we're right by the other subway station, so we have an out if we need it. All right. Oh. Okay, well I decided to attack one, and it seems like we've annoyed uh, quite a few. <laughs> we'll just make our way around them. Easy does it, Dusk. Okay, we're getting down to this little field now, and it should be a straight shot down towards the museum. Okay, I feel like we should probably have Elliot with us right now. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, this is the museum, I think, right? Yeah, we're right against it. Okay, so let's just try and see if there is a back door, perhaps. Uh, so far, no. Uh, but there is a front door. 
Oh yeah, there are a few front doors. Now, we should be able to try and pry it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, what is that? It's a cannon. <laughs> it's a cannon, is what it is. Uh, it's a very damaged cannon, as you might expect. Um, doesn't look like the museum has too much out here at the moment. Um, we imagine that things were probably taken early on. Steel leg guards. Poor fitting, but okay. Okay, museum. Let's, uh, let's see how we do here. We're hearing some noises outside. They're coming for our, for our cannon. There's a stone adze in there. Um, quite used, a little damaged. I imagine in a non-no-hope game, you might have quite a few things uh, scattered about here. Alas, the museum is pretty barren right now. Another alarm? Yep, yep, you guessed it. We got a tonfa back here, and we've, we've gotten uh, noticed. Same thing here? Yep. Alarms everywhere we go. Even back here. Oh, okay, that's a listener. <laughs> it was keeping its ear out. Uh, and there is nothing back here either. Just an indoor plant. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> wow. What? What a waste. Well, it, not, not a waste. We made it here pretty quickly. There is a dojo, which I am definitely intrigued by. And we've got a garage over here as well that could have some useful stuff. So I think it's still worth us checking those places out as we make our way back up towards Elliot. We still haven't got what we need, which is a, um, a way to get our mechanical skill up. Ah, but we do have a tension. We don't necessarily want that. So here is what we're going to do. We're going to force... No, we're not. We're not going to force shove the acidic zombie dog. We are going to move back and then we're going to let these things uh, start to get a little closer to us. Might be a mistake. Let's just see. Move down there, for shove, slam it against the wall, and we're gonna do the same thing for the dog here. Oh boy, that's messy. The skeletal zombie makes its way through there. Dusk makes quick work of that though. All right, come on, let's deal with you, and let's make our way through here. The zombie cop is gonna be making a lot of noise. It's going to draw anything towards it. We have an out. Uh, we don't wanna fight you. No. My protective electrical current is nearly gone. Okay, so we'll need to reapply that. Uh, but yes, okay, let's see. Dojo, up that way. That's the direction in which I want to try and go. So let's just try and weave between the shockers and the zappers because there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of electricity going on over there and that is a shrieker. Not great because everything is going to start to come towards it. Um, we're just going to run here as that's a zombie wrestler. Let's not get grappled. Dusk, stay quick on your feet. What would your brother say? <laughs> oh boy. And it sounds like there are some things in the dojo as well, which is not great. Okay. Oh, that's an ocular zombie. Okay. Well, let's try and get around you for now. Didn't see that coming, did you? Nah, didn't think so. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Uh, and something just blew up here. Wasn't me. Wasn't us. Okay, great. Shrieker again. Let's slam it into the wall. Silence it. Take down the swimmer. All right, we got a regular zombie. That's gone too. Doing good, Dusk. An acidic zombie now. Well, as long as we don't end up on the same square as it, we'll be okay. The ocular zombie, definitely difficult to hit. Let's use a wave of force here. We're going to knock everything back. The tough zombie. Let's just send that back a few times. Oh boy. Oh boy. We've been hit by the thorny shambler now. And you, you are just a problem, aren't you? Okay. Force shove that away. Try to. Uh, we failed, though. We've got a howling dog here now as well. Let's try this one more time. Force shove. We are failing to knock this thing away right now. Okay. It's nearly downed. Come on, Dusk. Come on. There we go. That's what we need. The thorny shambler is now grabbing us. Let's get rid of it, and that's why. Okay, the shady zombie was down there. It's now grabbing us. That is now dead. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. We're bleeding a little bit here. This is a road roller. Well, it's big enough that we should be able to use it as an obstacle. There is something in there. Okay, we just need a chance to catch our breath, stop this bleeding. We're trying to stop it as we are moving along here. And you know what? All that noise, I think that is going to help. Everyone should start making its way on over towards there. Except, of course, for this beak dog. Yeah, okay. It's not that strong, thankfully. All right, do we have a chance to get our breath back here? We'll turn on safe mode and we will attempt it. Okay, we're good. We are good, Dusk. Towards the dojo we go. Let's see if we can't actually find an entrance this time. 
Uh, the answer is no. Okay, it looks like it's to the north. That's unfortunate. That's where everything was. Okay, but a lot of the stuff has moved on. Good. And it seems... Okay, we have an inn. Excellent. I think I'm always going to check and see if there's anything stashed in here that could be useful. Because we may, we may have manuals in the lockers as well. Alas, nothing yet. Okay, oh boy, of course there's a devourer here. Okay, okay, let's move around that sucker, send it back, and let's finish at dusk. Okay, we don't have our discharge to work with here, but dusk, damn. She's doing good, she's dodging, she's weaving. She managed to block some of the damage there with her arm guards. Good bloody work. Now, let's hope there is something over there. CQB monthly, maybe, maybe. I also think that it's probably just going to teach us about hand-to-hand -hand fighting. You never know. Hey, we got an orange and some yogurt. We'll take it. Oh boy. And oh, I was going to try and open the window for them, but <laughs> didn't, didn't work. Okay, we just got to have the hope that there is something upstairs because there ain't nothing else down here. Up we go. And yes, becoming one with the Tao. Well, that sounds good. A complete guide to Tai Chi. All right. We will take it. And ideally, we will try and read that tonight. Okay, we're hearing explosions and smashes from below. Not exactly what you want to be hearing at this time of night. What is that over there? Military. Interesting. At the top of a dollar store roof. I guess they set up like a little forward outpost base or something like that. Maybe trying to resupply at the gun store. I mean, there's two of them right here. For us though, well, the dojo, we got what we wanted. Now we're going to head up towards that garage and then slowly make our way back up towards that subway station. So back out into the night we go. Let's keep safe mode on and hope that trouble doesn't find us. Okay, at the garage now. Uh, let's go crank that open and we'll crank it closed. What have we got? Oh, that's an engine crane. It's actually in perfect condition as well, which is kind of wild. Just a clamp. Oh, that's an Oculus zombie. Well, damn it. Okay. Not much that we can do about that, other than let it smash its way through here. Um, let's go get our discharge on, just in case they do get close to us, and try and get this damn Oculus Zombie down. They are definitely harder to hit than some of the other things. They just see the attack coming from whatever angle. Got some leather gloves in there, and nothing else. Okay, any tools in here? No, not really. Anything good would be back here, so this garage is a bust. We've got a hardware store though, so there's a possibility that we might be able to find something useful. We'll have a look, see if anything takes our fancy. Alright, we're in. And we've got lots of different paints, okay. Ooh, fungicide. I mean, sure, just in case we picked up anything being close to those fungal flowers. Uh, there's a lot of coal here, if we need that, and 700 nails as well. So it's good to see that hardware stores do still have some useful things. Um, a lot of sand as well, and that's about that. Yeah, okay. Looks like we're just gonna have to clamber on over this fence here. Got a flatbed truck, very damaged. And now I don't think there is much else that I'd want to have a look at, other than maybe this garage here, which is a part of this large gas station. We could hit that up, and there's actually another dojo here as well, right before we make it back to the subway station. Yeah, okay, I think that's the plan. Gas station, you come next. We're just gonna have to work our way across the road here. Okay, there's a zapper a fair ways to the north. Oh, and that's a zombie here. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Another? With the memory card, yeah, thank you. Okay, we've got two decayed zombies that are coming for us now. Let's we'll see if we can quickly take them out. Get some caffeinated chewing gum in the process. Let's knock that back. Oh, an acidic zog, or rather, an acidic dog. Yeah, we'll kill that before we try and eat. There we go. Okay. Oh, zombie hunter. I think we should be able to take that down, yeah. Oh, great. And now a lasher and a zombie runner. So, we've made a bit of noise. Let's get some distance. We're really close now to that gas station garage kind of combo. Oh, and that was some loud metal screeching. Okay, that's somewhat concerning. Yeah, that's at the garage here. Okay, uh, let's open the door, see what's in here. That looks pretty good. I mean, the controls are damaged, but beyond that, that's a pretty good condition motorcycle. I mean, if we just had a welding tool, We'd be, we'd be so, we'd be so good. There's a blank close, damn it. Okay, uh, 
Not ideal. Oh, and that's a bar guest. Okay. All right, let's get rid of you. Send you over that way. I think we might have actually killed it then. And just see if there's any tools here. No. <laughs> no, not a single tool. Okay, just us. Okay, uh, we've got some ibuprofen here. We'll take it. And I am not sure what you are. A mild painkiller like aspirin said to relieve pain and swelling. Okay, sure. Oh, and that's a sproglodyte. Was a sproglodyte. Okay. Oh boy, that's a party. It's a party that we do not want to be a part of. Um, yeah, the zombie blank is back there as well. Didn't think it was going to connect up like that, but alas, here we are. Okay, um, there's a hard seltzer here. Oh, this is the service station. Okay, um, so here's what has to happen. We need to grab that there, and we're going to drag it. Uh, let's see, grab it and drag it up that way. And then we're just going to go through this. And then we're just going to try and see if we can dodge and weave, get around them here. Nothing that we need there book-wise. Okay, uh, check here as well. All about swords. Tempting, but not enough for us to um, run into all this trouble. So, let's try and leave that behind. Check this vehicle while we're here. Sports sedan. Lacking wheels, as you might expect. And there is something over here. Chocolate-covered coffee beans okay and a battling zombie that is no more had a duffel bag though and now we're going to pretty much leave this all in the dust uh we'll mark that as explored but the dojo that's the last place that we want to check up there okay easy does it dusk <laughs> get that safe mode back on oh we're seeing another zapper oh and that's a sludge trail and an acidic zombie we'll make sure that it stands in the sludge as much as possible make its life difficult and you know what we'll Get rid of you if we can. Don't want too many people following us. There we go. Oh, yeah, another regular zombie. Okay. It is very satisfying when we get those quick kills or just these big combos popping off. Okay, and the dojo should be just north of the art piece here. Okay, that's what we're looking for. And it seems to be much more of one of those traditional dojos um, that hasn't had much for us in the past. So, yeah, I mean, I still got my fingers crossed. You never know. I mean, not good so far. <laughs> Just gotta hope that there's something in this little office here. Let's pry it open. Nothing, nothing at all. I mean, it's a black belt, but yeah, it's not gonna make us any better. And upstairs, yeah, same deal. Nothing here. Just leads out onto the roof. Okay, well that is disappointing, but we do have one book that we can read from. And I am definitely wanting to try and do that before the end of today's episode, but I think we are gonna try and get down into the subway station first. Uh, actually, hang on. That's not where Elliot is. Elliot is over in one of these homes, right? Yeah, he's in that basement there. Okay, okay. Look, I was bound to remember eventually, right? So, all I gotta do here is just kind of retrace my steps as best as possible. And you know what? Definitely kill that thing before it pops. And we'll go pick up our brother. <laughs> uh, we'll deal with you at the same time. There we go. Okay, he's in here. Yeah. All right, back downstairs we go, and we'll keep ourselves in here for now. Sorry, I forgot how messy it was down here, Elliot. Uh, <laughs> it's not really acceptable, is it? Uh, no comfy chairs, but there is the bed here. Okay, all right, let's go and light up this candle, and let's have a flick through a few things. CQB monthly, first of all, uh, not going to help us. Popular mechanics, uh, same deal there, I think. Yeah, no ain't gonna help us. Martial arts manuals though, becoming one with the Tao. Okay, so we start to read that and I think we can just say until tired or until success. What we'll do before that though is make sure that we have our wounds properly bandaged. Um, we want there to be at least something on them. Yeah, okay, back to it, Dusk. Okay, we're hearing quite a bit of shuffling around us at the moment, but uh, it hasn't made its way in here yet. And Dusk, <laughs> she knows Tai Chi, or at the very least she understands the basics of it. So let's see here. Though Tai Chi is often seen as a form of mental and physical exercise, it is a legitimate martial art focused on self-defense. Its ability to absorb the force of an attack makes your perception decrease damage further on a block. Which is okay, our, our perception is all right. Pausing for a moment enables a powerful palm strike technique. Cool. I mean, I feel like it's worth us giving it a shot, right? So we can see the different um, techniques that we can get here. Blocked is 100% of perception, which right now is 11. So we can block 
what, 11 damage. We have the pause buff, which again helps with blocking. Repulse the monkey gives us extra accuracy. There is a disarming attack that we can do as well. And then there is the palm strike, which does 150% bash, cut, and piercing damage. Nice, we like that. And it will knock them back one tile. Cool. Grasp the sparrow's tail. It's activated on a normal or crit hit. Only works on a non-downed humanoid target. And it will down them. We have the double palm strike. 200% damage, very nice. It activates on a crit, knocks them back and stuns them. And with how much we kind of are critting, I think that's, uh, I think it's worth us trying this out, you know? Seeing just how we do. We were hearing some shuffling, right? So, ah, uh, a brainless zombie. Let's see how we do here, Dusk. Stepping in towards it, we palm strike it for seven damage. Okay, sinking our fangs in. Then we managed to cut it for 15 damage there. Cool. So I think we'll stick with it for a little while until we get a real sense of the art. For now though, that is going to wrap us up with yet another episode. One in which we didn't find the books that we needed, but we did still find some good books all the same. And I think now that we're out here, and now that it's getting close to dawn, we are probably going to need to stay out this way, or else travel deep into the underground to get away from that sun. Oh, and I should mention, I have not forgotten about the Five Rings book. Apparently we can learn a martial art out of that, and that might be something that fits Elliot a little bit more, especially with him using the longsword more often at the moment now. And another thing to consider is that we are going to have to head back and resupply before too long. We've been kind of surviving off of berries and anything else that we still had. We are going to need more food. So taking down a dinosaur and properly preserving it, that will really help us with our food long term. Lots of things to do, as ever. And so, for now, I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.